Loot from 10,000 gourmet impling jars. Hello and welcome back to old school runescape on my character. This is a different character compared to my Bora Iron Iron Man. This is my alternate character where we open up gourmet implings. I wasn't going to farm them so I decided to buy them from GE for 42.4 million GP. Will we make that profit back at the end of the video? Well you had to stay tuned and find that out. First of all, gourmet implings. Very interesting creature. It's not a creature you necessarily kill, but more a capture. Either you can do this by catching them in a jar with a butterfly net, or you can catch them by bare hand, depending on your hunter level. You require with the net of 28 hunter, and with the bare hands, you need 38 hunter. Gourmet Implings is more known for best way of getting quick, easy clue scrolls. The rates are 1 in 25 on getting these, so with 10,000 of these, I should be getting... 400 easy clue scrolls so is that the case for me let's find out and we are back to the grand exchange where it all began where i bought 10,000 gourmet implings to see how much i can make as well as how many clue scrolls i could have got so basically i'm expecting to get 400 easy clue scrolls did i get that were well, you about to find out However, you're also not to find out what I did get from those rewards because of I feel like averagely that clue scrolls could be more like you can have really good luck on one hand or you could be a person that has really awful luck. It all it takes is getting that one or two really beasty items that will just change the value completely and I feel like that's quite wrong. So what I'm going to do is instead that take in from the OS wiki guide that uh, how much they believe that easy clue scrolls are worth on average per thing so that's what I'm going to do I'll times that with how many clue scrolls I've gotten through this project and uh, yeah let's uh, click in and see what we've gotten from 10,000 gourmet implings here we are 10,000 gourmet implings quanta tab a value of 8.78 million GP I believe this cost me about 42 million GP but I say it's not including the clue scroll rates yet so yeah as you can see 9,000 impling jars, what a weird and wacky number, how exact that is. That shows that there's a rating of how many times you break your jar, which is quite interesting to me. I didn't know whether that's just by chance or whether that's just by design, but that is just completely odd to me. Also, 15 grubby keys, pretty unlucky. I should be getting 20 from 10,000. So again, 15 is pretty bad luck, especially that they're pretty much the most expensive item out of the whole jar, bar from the clue scrolls. So yeah, this is what the tab looks like. It's more of like, it just gives you a bunch of really weird food, high level food from sharks, all the way down to like kebabs, to cake as well. And then it also gives you spices, as well as curry leaves and strawberries, and then frog spawn, which is untradeable. And it's very hard to get it out of your bank because you can't note them, surprisingly. So I'll probably be putting them in the extender shasha and just get rid of them. But uh, yeah, as you can see, quite a few interesting numbers. Nearly quite a few 1,000s or nearly 2,000s with the tuners. Um, but uh, yeah, I found this quite fun to do. And uh, unfortunately, the loot tracker didn't track all 10,000, which is really heartbreaking to me. So I'm going to have to recalculate what I've gotten. And also work out the odds, so the ratings of what I've got from the jar. Compare it to the OS Wiki, um, the loot table uh, rarity. And also work out how lucky I was with clue scrolls. So talking about clue scrolls, how many did I actually get? Was I lucky or was I unlucky? Well, I actually got really lucky of how many clue scrolls I got. I got myself 411 easy clue scrolls when I should be getting 400 on a dot. So I managed to get myself a bonus 11 easy clue scrolls, which will be also added to the tally of how much average I would have gotten. So yeah, anyway, the next bit will be showing you the rates of each item I've managed to get. And uh, as I say, a bit interesting to get the 9,000 jars. And then also I'm going to sell off everything now in the tab right now and show you the money there and then we can calculate together on how much money I would have made including the clue scrolls. Anyway, sit back, enjoy to find out the remaining drop rates as well as say working out whether I made money or not from this project. So here I've detailed out on what's green which is all on or under rate and red is over rate. The big big difference is obviously the grubby key 1 in 666.6 .6 when I should be a 1 in 500. 
as well as getting the easy cruise control under rate is very nice at 1 and 24.3. Other than that, it's just a more common items and not too valuable, but the main items were those two. But interesting stats to know. Time to fast forward through quickly selling all our juicy loot apart from the frog spawn. Unfortunately you can't sell it's untradeable as well as it'll be fun because you can't note them either. But as I say this project took me about two weeks, two and a half weeks to complete. Which is quite surprising, I thought it was going to take me a lot longer. Especially completing every single clue scroll. Every single one, 411 of them. But uh, that was quite fun on my side, I really enjoyed doing that. I love clue scrolls. And probably one of the main reasons why I wanted to do this. But uh, yep, this is how much money we've made from this project. Well, with this um, from the Implings. It looks like about 8.3 million gold. I do calculate at the end as well, including the OS Wiki guidelines of what an easy clue scroll averagely uh, rewarded as. So I did this by times in that by 411, because that's how many clue scrolls I got. And did I make a profit out of that? Well, we're about to calculate this now, and no, we did not. We made a negative 14.5 million GP in value. So we didn't get a profit whatsoever. However, if you're like a collection log hunter or you love clue scrolls, then personally, it's perfectly brilliant. Rather than going pickpocketing ham members forever or just killing goblins forever, this is a lot easier and viable way, but viable meaning if you're wealthy or not. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video, thank you very much for staying tuned, and I hope you found this one interesting. Cheers, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.